Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio and uh, this is going to be a product review demo. Uh, I have already painted this cowboy boot. Some of you may recognize this. This has become quite the popular pattern lately. Um, I'm going to ignore the boots, which is basically colored the way I do it in my class, but I want to focus on the top of the boot and where you see some of the writing and point out some of the various different tools that I've used. Of course, naturally, there's ink tense pencil in here, and I've done it in several different locations. Now, as many of you know, I use ink tense pencil with my own fabric medium. However, I'm, I'm starting to move more and more towards paints. And so as a result, I'm demoing two particular paints that I've found favorable reviews on both Instagram and Facebook, etc., etc. One of them is called Kamenskaya, I believe is the way to pronounce it. If somebody has a different way, please let me know. It's an actual ink. Um, it's, it's used quite a bit with polymer clay, and it seems to have a very durable color, So, and it's recommended uh, also for fabric, so I thought I'd give it a try. Now, most of what I used is, is somewhat blended with fabric medium. Um, I am, however, testing, let's see, where do I have it? No, maybe it's just this, this, this pink right here. I believe some of the pink is straight. The darker color, as a matter of fact, is straight, but the lighter color is what I blended with fabric medium. So let me pull back out again. The other color I'm testing is Nova Color Acrylic Paint. Um, this too has had recommendations for using on fabric. So what I've done is I've pulled both their translucent and their opaque paint. Uh, some of my videos recently, I've, I've showed you painting on dark fabric, and it's really critical to use opaque paint. It's the only thing that will keep true color. So that blue, that kind of turquoise blue right there, is in contrast to the ink tense pencil, which by the way is dark aquamarine. So I wanted the two similar colors together to see how they're going to react when washed. Uh, the other one that I have down here, that dark blue, is a translucent and the red above actually is a translucent. I didn't write the color down, but the red has actually been blended with fabric medium, whereas both the blue and the turquoise have been used straight. So my next thing to do is to heat set both of these. And once I've heat set them, I will wash them and uh, report back on the results. By the way, these are the colors that I am using in my test. Uh, there is the Kamenskaya, and then these are the three Nova colors that I'm using currently in my test. So I realized that looking at a sink full of soapy water isn't exactly the most thrilling thing in the world. But what I want to show you is what it looks like so far. And so far, it's looking really, really good. So, oops, let me focus in there. There we go. Um, you can see that so far there is, there's no running. Um, and I'm very impressed with this because I think I pointed out that that red right there is, is it, I think it's mixed both with some fabric medium and then I used it straight. But more telling is, of course, darker colors. That blue right there, that dark blue, and then that turquoise, both of those are straight. So, um, so far, the Nova is like a champion. I'm, I'm really liking it. But I don't want to take away from the pink. Let me get that up here. That pink, you know, the, the common sky is doing great too. Now, granted, I did mix um, quite a bit of fabric medium with it to get the light pink, but that dark pink is straight. So, uh, woohoo, this is actually some, some other, I don't even remember what this is, so I'm, I'm not going to comment on it. 
Um, but so far, the two, and of course, Ink Tense, well, it always holds up to, to washing. But the Nova Color and the Comanskaya, mmm, got to tell you, these may be some new products that uh, I'm going to start using. In the grand scheme of things, one of the reasons I'm doing this as well as Ink Tense pencils, oops, excuse me, Ink Tense pencils have recently gone quite up in value. Uh, a single pencil now costs uh, U.S. dollars, three dollars, and I think three cents plus tax, which works out to probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of three twenty-five a pencil. Um, that's pretty darned expensive. And uh, when I first started buying them, they were like a buck twenty-five. So part of what I'm doing here is looking for less expensive alternatives, but with the same quality and washability of an ink tense pencil. So um, these two are going on my list. I will continue to test and who knows at my next quilt show I may have some paint kits available in addition to the pencils. So here's the boot from the dryer and I haven't even ironed it. So that you can see that it, in fact, is nice and wrinkly like anything that came out of the dryer would be. So I'm going to zoom in on the colors and let you see that everything looks awesome. From the ink tints to the Kamenskaya acrylic inks to the Nova color translucent and the opaque acrylic paints, I have found some new tools that I am really, really excited about. So stay tuned um, as I create kits and as I paint with these new tools, I will post videos about them. Also, I will post links below in the description that will give you an idea of where you can go buy both the acrylic ink and the Nova colored paints. Thanks for watching.